Monday is Child Advocacy Day for the Oklahoma Institute for Child Advocacy. It is a day when the organization hopes to make Oklahoma lawmakers even more aware of issues facing children in Oklahoma. Here to talk more about it today is Joe Dorman. No relation, even though I often call you Uncle <laughs> Joe. Uh, it is always good to see you, my friend. Uh, tell us more about this event that you're hosting on Monday and really what the goal is behind it. So every year we work to have a Child Advocacy Day to encourage advocates to come to the Capitol to talk about the issues that are important to them that deal with children and also develop those connections with lawmakers. The goal that we have is we want lawmakers to have advocates cell phone numbers in their own cell phone. That way they can call them when there is a question about a bill or a policy might come up reach out to a resource expert that you trust and get that information before you vote. So this is hopefully the first step in getting that engagement together, get the lawmakers with the advocates and learn more about each other and move forward. Yeah, it's all about communication really, isn't it? And having that connection, that network. Uh, talk to us about some key issues that you would like lawmakers to take a closer look at. So we've been working with several advocates to try and improve the quality of legal representation uh, throughout the state. Uh, high quality legal representation has been an issue that's been looked at in several different different states and we're trying to get that here right now there's a great pilot program a private money that's funding that and we're trying to get more state resources into that similarly we're working on a program with hunger free Oklahoma called double up Oklahoma that would provide an extra benefit for snap recipients to have up to a $20 match to purchase fresh fruits and vegetables the thought being those are the more expensive items if we can provide that incentive it makes it more affordable for people to purchase those and hopefully develops those better habits where the kids will want to eat a fresh banana or orange rather than some canned item or sugary drink or, or the the potato chips. Yeah, some tough times right now for families indeed. Uh, how important is it for these organizations and of course for advocates to build these relationships with lawmakers? It's absolutely vital and uh, I can speak from that. Serving 12 years in the legislature myself, I had people that I would call when an issue would come up that I trusted and would reach out and get their advice on how I should vote. We have 101 representatives and 48 state senators. None of them are experts in every different topic that would come before them in legislation. So it's important for individuals to make those connections long before an election starts. Develop that contact while they're there at the Capitol, while they're back home in their districts, and build those friendships, and then hopefully we'll see better policies pass through the Capitol. I understand on Monday that you're hosting a chili cook-off at the Capitol. Uh, everybody can gather around the advocates, lawmakers over chili uh, to make some of these relationships, but a lot of folks are welcome uh, to attend this, correct? That's correct. It's open to anyone. It's free to come sample the chili. We do this as a fundraiser every year. We have sponsors that will sponsor the chili cook-off, and then we'll have cookers show up and make their own uh, tasty dish, hopefully. <laughs> and then the advocates will have a free meal while we're there. We're encouraging families bring their kids if schools can do a field trip that day. Come to the Capitol, visit the lawmakers, and just have a fun day of advocacy, and, and hopefully we'll guide them through the process and make sure they know what they're doing when they get there and when they leave. Yeah, an important day for you all on Monday. It absolutely is. It, this is the most important thing in encouraging those individuals to become advocates and use their voices. The only way we're going to see changes happen in Oklahoma is if more people speak up about these issues. Joe, always great to see you, my friend. Thank you for driving up for the city to spend some time with us today. We appreciate it.